Hello there, my name's Richard from Silent Peak Photo and welcome to this Topaz Denoise AI review. Now Topaz Denoise AI will take a noisy photo like this one and do this to it. As you can see, there's quite a difference. But this is a review, so let's take this right back to where we started. So I've closed the image and I'm going to bring the image back up. And just like it is in real life with this particular application, I'm going to leave it on Topaz Denoise AI's automatic mode. In this case, noise reduction is entirely hands off and Denoise AI will automatically assess your image and apply the settings it thinks will work best. And here we go. And there. Now, in this case, Topaz Denoise AI has selected the standard AI model, and it really hasn't done a particularly good job. So at this point, I'm going to jump in and apply my own settings. Now, as you've already seen, I know the best settings for this particular image because I've already tried it. But this is what you would do to find your own best results. Now, the best way to begin is to click up here and go to the comparison view. Now, there's five different AI models in Denoise AI. There's standard, clear, low light, severe noise, and raw. And the good thing about this four-way split screen, as you might have guessed, is it gives us the ability to preview four of these AI models simultaneously. So here on the left, we have standard. We have clear, which looks brilliant. We have low light, which looks very good as well. And we have severe noise. Now, in fact, the worst one is the one that Denoise AI automatically picked, which is pretty strange. But the best one is definitely the clear. And to select that version of the image, I'm just going to click onto it and then take it back into the single view again. Now, there's no fancy editing going on here. Your experience, the weight and latency of Denoise AI, like I am. Now, Denoise AI is like many AI-powered photo enhancement applications in that it is a little bit slow. Each time you make an adjustment, change the AI model, um, or indeed pan and zoom your image, Denoise AI will pause to re-render the preview. Now, this can get a little bit wearsome, especially if you're making adjustment after adjustment. But in my opinion, the, way, the results are easily worth their weight. But if you want to trade a little bit of outright performance for a whole lot of speed on one No Noise AI, 2023 is almost as good as this, but it's also a lot faster. And I recommend that you have a look. So here we are. Here is our bird. Let's have a look at it at 400%. Not a setting I would recommend, obviously. It's technically flawed. It's just pixel interpolation. But it gives you an impression of just how bad this image was and just how much better it is. Now, realistically, that is no measure of the image, but it just helps you guys see the image because you're looking at it on YouTube and not a 4K screen like I am. Now, once you've finished processing your image, we can simply um, adjust it a little bit. We have various different preferences. We have remove noise. So on this particular model, it's just free settings. On other models, it's a slider. And we can enhance the sharpness. It's on low. We can put it onto high. And once again, doing so will prompt the image to be re-rendered. And there we go. And perhaps that does look ever so slightly better. So here you go once again. Here is the original noisy image, the clean image. Same view, side by side. And you can see it's a night and day difference. So who is Denoise AI for? Well, it's for anybody who takes noisy photos, whether that you're using a smaller sensor camera system like Micro Four Thirds, uh, such as this photo taken with an Olympus M1 Mark II, or indeed any photographer taking uh, 
in using noisy ISOs, whether it's because you're using light starved fast shutter speed to capture quick action, or you're taking handheld photos in poorly lit spaces. Denoise AI is effectively like getting a brighter lens or a much larger sensor, but it only costs the US equivalent of $79. It is a bargain and absolutely worth it. Anyway, that is my Topaz Denoise AI review. I hope that was useful. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments below. You can try this application for yourself with your own photos, absolutely free of charge. And there's a link in the description for you to do just that. Anyway, my name's Richard from Silent Peak, and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.